Hey everybody, we got an exciting astronomical event coming up tonight and early tomorrow morning, which is a total lunar eclipse uh, on November 8th. And I just want to show you uh, what you can expect, where you can see it, when you should be looking, all that good stuff. So when you think of a total uh, lunar eclipse, this is the picture we have in mind, right? This is the moon passing through the shadow of the Earth. And so it only happens with full moons and only when when the orbits happen to line up just right that the moon is actually passing through the Earth's shadow. It is a slow burn, all right? This is something that happens gradually over the course of the night. If you were able to just kind of focus on a point in space, if you were able to focus on a point in space, you would see the, the, the moon actually pass through the Earth's shadow. But what's tricky about that, of course, is that our Earth is rotating the entire time. So I'm going to show you what this actually is going to look like in the night sky. So right now I'm set up for the Eastern time zone. I'll show you Western time zone as well, in case that's where you find yourself. But this is going to be set up for tonight. All right. And uh, you can see that just because it's a full moon, just as the sun is setting in the west, we got the full moon rising over here in the east. And um, and on the eastern time, now the, this, the, the moon is going to be, this is a physical thing that's happening, right? The moon is entering into the Earth's shadow. And it's happening at a specific point in time, regardless of where you are on the planet, it's happening at a certain time. So that moment will be different whether you're in the Eastern time or, time or Western time by your clock, even though it's the same time in space, right? And so for, for those of us like me who's in the Eastern time zone, you'll see that you're going to actually want to get up pretty early in the morning uh, to see it. The, it'll begin around 3.55 a.m., but you won't really notice it with any significance until 5 and especially like 6 a.m. when it's at the heart of its uh, eclipse. And you'll see that the, the full moon doesn't actually line up perfectly with the center here. So there will be kind of a gradual progression. You may be even able to notice where the very center of the shadow is on the, the bottom part of the moon. So you can actually see that in Stellarium here as I go forward in the night and I hit 3, 4, 5 o'clock, you'll see the moon. There it's just starting. All right. The moon will gradually start to darken. And, but you, you, so you're going to be looking in the West and, you know, well, you'll see the moon in the sky and uh, the, the eclipse will start and it will reach its totality before the moon sets, but not by much. And so when it's reaching totality, at least at my hometown, its altitude will be something like 14 degrees. It's going to be pretty blurry and obscured, kind of like sunset already, kind of reddish. So it'll be kind of fade and disappear um, already at that moment. But uh, nonetheless, you'll still be able to see it, especially if you're getting up early or something like that. Those of you on the on the West Coast or, or you know wherever you are further west are going to have a better and better view um, because uh, you'll see more of it. So if I just switch my location, let's just go all the way out to California, all right? And I use this location. Now that same moment in real time, the moon will be much higher in the sky for for you observers. So it'll still be in the West, right? Um, but the, uh, if I have a kind of a, a time chart here that for Pacific time, it actually begins around midnight. Again, you probably won't notice much of anything at that point, but over the course of a few hours, you'll see it reach totality, right? Two or 3 AM. So you might want to get up in the middle of the night to actually see this. So there it is in totality, but if you are waking up early in the morning, you'll actually see it starting to pass back into, um, a full moon. All right. So this is coming up tonight. Very exciting tomorrow morning. I hope you get a chance to check it out. It's the it's the last total eclipse for quite some time, and uh, it's just a cool cool chance to see these sorts of things that we're learning about in class happening in real time in the night sky. There are so few things that change that dramatically, and hopefully it's not an ominous sign for the midterms coming up when the moon turns to blood on the night of <laughs> of a U.S. election. It's always a little uh, concerning, but uh, we'll just we'll just uh, assume that that the eclipse schedule doesn't actually impact uh, the events of humanity. Um, all right, I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you later.